Hello and welcome to my channel. Recently we have made a battery for this robot arm. So basically this battery is power supply for this robot arm. The next thing which I would like to make is gripper, which will go over here. So this is what we are going to build today. Let's get started. I have a lot of 3D printed components. This was the test. Yeah, so uh, I think these ones are correct ones. I hope. We will see this when we will assemble everything. I'm going to use these servos. One of them is broken, three are working, so I can make more than one gripper. I need one servo per gripper. Actually, I would like to build two grippers, that's why I prepared uh, these uh, small uh, rails uh, with the uh, carriages. This is a maker beam rail, and I cut this rail to the 134 mm lens, and I put two carriages on this rail. The fingers are going to slide on this rail. And I'm going to use the belt, GT2, 6 mm wide belt. Also, I would use some bearings uh, like this one. This is 12 mm inner diameter, 18 mm outer diameter, and 4 mm thickness. This one is 3 mm inner diameter, 10 mm outer diameter, and it's 4 mm thick. This is probably the main part. It's going to hold uh, the servo, also the rail. And to this part, I need to glue these small parts. One goes on this side. And the second one goes on this side. I usually don't like to use the glue, but here I would use it because first of all it's light, and second this piece is more aesthetic pieces than uh, functional ones. So there is no really forces on these pieces. Several drops of super glue, and it's almost done. I also put the standoffs, one here, one here, like this, it's easier to glue them. And over here I have some other parts finished. So I almost have all the parts necessary for this build. Just uh, two more parts uh, to 3D print. I will start the assembly by installing the servo motor. In order to install it, I need to put the cable. So this is the cable. The cable should be installed first. It's a quite tight fit. And when the motor is installed, we need to secure it with the screws over here. And over here, this is M2.5, 8 mm long. And the same this one. Four screws should be enough. I think this one is too much. Perfect. Next we can install the small pulley over here on the output shaft. It has uh, four M2 six millimeter long uh, screws. You can put eight but I think four is more than enough. Next, I will install the rail with the two carriages over here. So screw goes from one side, from another side, embedded nuts. The embedded nuts are installed. And now with M3 12 mm long screws, we can fix the rail. Over here and here on these 15 mm long standoffs, we are going to install such pulleys. So inside this pulley there is a bearing from one side, bearing from another side, this one without bearing. And between these two bearings there is a small spacer. These two pulleys are ready and I would need two other pulleys made out of this bearing and this uh, 3D printed axis. Just like this. And this bearing with the 3D printed axis is going to support the output shaft of the motor. Here's a place for the two embedded nuts. Here's a place for the three embedded nuts. Afterwards on this piece it's going to be fixed one over here, one over here. Two bearings installed. This one should be installed over here. Just like this. So many screws over here and so many bearings. So this will go like this. So probably the next I will install these pulleys on each side with the one millimeter uh, spacers between this part and the pulley itself. For these spacers I'm going to use the washers. One washer is half millimeter thick so two washers should be fine. These two pulleys. So the belt will go like this around this pulley around this one over here and over here. Complicated. Next, the belt will be fixed on these sliders using such piece 
and such piece over here, you know, like this. And now we can put these two pieces together and fix them with this screw and uh, with uh, this screw. But before doing this, I should not forget to put embedded nut here and here. I hope I have not forget anything. Okay, everything seems fine. I still need to put screw here and here. And I think it's going to be the nightmare to install the belt over here. So the belt is going to be fixed over here on this slider and it's going to be terminated on this slider. <laughs> yeah, good luck putting this belt. <laughs> I wasn't able to put the belt on the assembled gripper, so I disassembled it. I calculated the belt length which I need, it's uh, 428 millimeters. Afterwards I installed the belt so the both ends are fixed over here. I also dismounted the rollers, these rollers. And now I'm going to put this, this piece without uh, rollers and afterwards I'm going to put the rollers. So to put this I need to tension the belt around the motor pulley and I need to slide this one on top. So it's going over here. I need to keep the tension on the belt. So the belt is holds by this pulley and this one. Now I can install one pulley here, one pulley there. So one pulley is going to be easy and the second one I would need to tension this belt and also I need to put the belt over here. So the assembly is kind of tricky. I've assembled uh, two pulleys and it seems like it works. But the belt is not uh, properly tightened. I removed one teeth uh, from the belt and reassembled everything. And now the belt is properly tightened. It works, but there is another issue. So when it comes together, both of them, you see that this one is closer to the hole over here than this one. So it means uh, that the gripper is not going to close at the center. And at the same time, if we go to the open position, this one is touches this part and this one does not touch this part yet. So basically what I need to do I need to move this uh, slider on the belt one tiss uh, to the which direction to this direction one tiss to this direction. So this is just show you that the assembly is not straightforward for this piece. After almost one hour assembling and disassembling, I have the belt which is, I think, properly tightened. You see this distance is more or less equal to this this one over here. Finally, belt is assembled. Now the base, this one. It will be fixed first of all on the robot arm and afterwards it will go here like this and we will fix it with the screws over here and the nuts are already installed. Cool! Also in order to cover this I have this small piece which goes on top and it fixes with the two screws over here. Now it almost looks like a real gripper. We just need a to put the fingers. To fix this part I need 12 mm long screws. The nuts are already installed. 40 mm long screws will fix this base to the gripper. Perfect. And over here you can see how it works. So you see how the belt goes over there, over the motor pulley, the second pulley. Afterwards the top part of the belt fixed to this finger and the bottom part of the belt fixed to this finger. The rest of the fingers is these parts. But for these parts I have some plan. I would like to make the silicone parts over here. Like this it's going to grab not with the plastic but with the silicone parts. And I have made the mold like this which can be screwed together. Afterwards I can put the silicone over there or I can put the finger first over here and put the silicone in order to cover all these holes. Afterwards the excess of the silicone I'm going to cut with the, with the knife and probably it's going to be not super ugly. But I doubt, I think it's going to be quite ugly. <laughs> I will use this silicone from the local hardware store. I'm not sure that it's good. I'm not sure that the, it's going to be stiff enough or soft enough. 
and I'm going to use this in order to prevent sticking uh, the silicone to the mold. The molds are ready. Now I need to pour the silicone inside and wait three hours. I have just put the silicone in the molds. I have no idea if it's going to be any good. But at least the silicone is quite liquid, so I hope uh, that it's not going to make a lot of bubbles. We'll see this in three hours. So instead of waiting three hours, I waited uh, 12 hours even more. And there is some strange thing. So over here, you see, it's still liquid. But for some reason over there, it's more or less uh, solid, not liquid at all. I don't understand this. Maybe I have not mixed properly, but I think I mixed really well. Let's try to open the second one. Again, here it's still liquid and over there it's solid. And again, this one uh, looks uh, not bad at all. I will cut this part with a knife. Need some uh, post-processing. After post-processing they are almost perfect. At least this one is almost perfect. Everything looks fine. This one is uh, not as perfect, uh, mainly because of this. You see? Of this step. So I have not pushed uh, this uh, uh, far enough into the mold. As a next step, we can put these fingers to the gripper, and like this, the gripper will be finished. And here I use 20 millimeter long screws. Now the gripper is finished, at least mechanical part of the gripper is finished. This is how it looks closed. And this is how it looks open. Quite good actually. It does not close completely, completely, but I think it's, it's okay. This is almost completely closed. The gripper weight is 377 gram. And the maximum gripping force is around 4 kilogram. I think this 4 kilogram gripping force at 377 gram weight are quite respectable values. Let me show you how it works. So this is uh, basically a microcontroller to control these uh, servo motors, which has a power supply 12 volts, and afterwards it's going to the PC. Power is on, so we see the LEDs. I can either switch on and off this LED, or I can uh, control it in the position. I can close it, open it, or I can do intermediate position. Another interesting thing that I can control it uh, not only in the position, but in PWM. So meaning that I'm going to control the force. So now I can close it, open it. And it's going to change the force. The force I can see over here as a percentage. We can see this probably with this cup, the small force, the higher force, the highest force. So we can control either the force of the jaws or the position of the, and over here we can see the temperature of this uh, servo motor. Great. Thank you for watching this video till the end. As you saw, we have the parts for the two grippers. So we're going to build uh, the second gripper and afterwards uh, we're going to build the second arm. So like this, it's going to be interesting. So in order not to miss this, subscribe to my channel. Huge thank you to people who support me via Patreon and YouTube channel membership. Here are their names. Thank you. You are the best. As usual, stay safe. Good luck with your projects and see you next time. And I have rebuilt this finger. So this step, the new one, does not have this step. So now they are perfect.